Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you all how to make a brown sugar honey glazed ham. Here's what you'll need. Two cups of brown sugar, one and a half cups of honey, three large tablespoons of butter, three heaping tablespoons of butter. You'll need pineapple, two tablespoons of cinnamon, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and of course our star the ham. I have a Sugardale shank ham here, but the first thing that we're going to do, if you look in this pan here, I've already put my butter, my brown sugar, and my honey in this pan. We're going to go ahead and get this pan turned on. We're going to turn it on to medium high, and we're just going to mix it. <clears throat> just mix this up very well. All right. We're going to add our vanilla. We're going to add our cinnamon. <clears throat> and we're going to put our pineapples in. But first, I have juice in this pineapple can. We're gonna go ahead and come over to our pan here. Pour some of that juice in the bottom of that pan. Just like this, whatever juice you have. All right, and then let's come back over here and we're gonna put our pineapples in, <clears throat> just like so. And that's, that's actually, it's not a whole can of pineapples, but you don't need a whole can. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna let this come up to temperature. You don't need it to come up to boil or anything. You just wanna get it well mixed and we're nice and warmed up. This is our glaze. Now this is gonna thicken up on you. But don't worry about that. That's what you're wanting. This glaze is one of the best ham glaze that I've ever had. Once you taste this glaze, this will be your go-to for your hams. You will love this. All right. Let's let that warm up a little. Let's take a look over at our ham. This is a beautiful ham. All right. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and turn this ham over this way because that's the way that we're gonna cook it. But what we need to do is we need to score this ham. And how you do it is you just come in and you just cut slits through, just like so. Nothing hard, okay? And you wanna use like, almost like a crisscross design. Just cut just a little ways through, okay? All the way, just like this. This is a beautiful ham. The go-to hams that I like to use are Sugar Dale and Cumberland Gap. They always turn out perfect. I never have any problem with them. Okay, see that? Okay, let's turn it. Because we're gonna cook our ham down this way. Keep turning it. It's almost Easter, guys. I wanted to show you all how to make a very tasty, beautiful ham for Easter. Show you how to make this beautiful glaze. This glaze is no fuss. It's no worry. It turns out perfect every time. When you make this, you will be happy. Your family will say, what a beautiful ham. Okay, keep, keep cutting your scores. Just like so. Now the first thing that we're going to do, I have my oven preheated on 350. Let's come over here and cut down this way. Just like we did on the other side. All right. Nothing hard about this. Quick and simple. And when we put this in the oven, don't cover this. Don't put aluminum foil or a lid on this. This ham will cook in your oven without being covered. And cut a couple scores up at this top. Just like this. Okay, we're done with that part. Let me show you our glaze. Oh, look at this. 
this is it guys okay now what I'm going to do at this point go ahead and turn that off this is our glaze let me zoom in so you can see this is what we're going to glaze our beautiful ham with that glaze literally doesn't even take 10 minutes it does not take 10 minutes that's all done we can turn that off and set it aside now the first thing that we're going to do we're going to go ahead and get this ham into our pan here let me zoom into our pan remember we put oh there's a pineapple <laughs> remember that we put pineapple juice in the bottom of this pan that's all the liquid that you'll need all right let's go ahead and put this in not this way but down this way right in there we're going to heat this ham up in the oven on 350 for 25 minutes and once this ham gets nice and warm we're going to pull it out and we're going to put our first glaze on and once we put our first glaze on i'll be back okay everyone it's been 20 minutes and this beautiful ham has came out of the oven and see what we're looking for I only put it in for 20 minutes um, on 350 and what we're looking for is for these score parts here to start to open up just like they are just like they're doing just like this all right and and get kind of warm so that our glaze will stick onto this ham with no problems all right, so let me show you something real quick. I want to show you this glaze here. And it's thickened up. You see that? It's thickened up some. It's going to do that. But make sure you don't leave it on top of the stove while you have your oven on. I just had it on the um, counter. All right, so now let's go ahead and baste this. This will be our first glaze. All right, let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. All right. Don't worry about where the uh, pineapples go, okay? You'll have some stick onto the ham and some will fall, which is just fine. This is what you want to do. Get this nice and glazed. Get this glazed down in those score marks. Just like this. Just like this. Okay, let's look in on this side. Got a good picture? There we go. Let me, just like this. All right, just let that glaze drizzle down into those score marks. You can kind of do this if you want. All right, first glaze, this is going back into the oven for 35 more minutes on 350. After 35 minutes is up, we'll take this back out of the oven and we'll baste it one more time. I'll see you in 35 minutes. Okay, everyone, I'm back. This ham has cooked for another 35 minutes. And now what I'm going to do, we're going to baste this for a second time. Stir your sauce up. And just start drizzling. Just like this. Let me zoom in so you guys can get a very good look at this. And that's just what you're wanting. And you know what makes this um, a shiny glaze? It's to mix with the, uh, the butter and the syrup. That's what gives it that beautiful glaze. Isn't this gorgeous? Isn't this gorgeous? Mmm. Oh man, my mouth is watering already. Now let's turn it over on this side and do the same. And as long as you use that two cups of brown sugar, you have, you have enough glaze. This is quite a bit of glaze because this is a 12 pound ham. Oh, look at this guys. Isn't that beautiful? Make this for your Easter. Your family will absolutely love this. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this in the oven for 20 minutes. We'll come back and glaze it another 
one more time. And now what I wanted to tell you, if I didn't tell you guys already, this ham is a fully cooked ham. That's the only type hams that I'll make. I love making fully cooked hams because they're, they're so easy, honestly. They're so easy. All you have to do is get them nice and warm. Okay, we're going to put this in the oven and I'll be back. Everyone, I'm back. Okay, now this is going to be our last glaze. I always do three glazes. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn our oven up to 425. We're going to glaze this bad boy, and this is only going to sit in the oven this time on 425 for only 10 minutes. 10 minutes only on this last glaze, okay? Ooh, it, you know what? This smells so good. It's so delicious. I cannot wait to eat this. Ooh. And you see you see how this, this uh, honey brown sugar glaze was just enough. I'm actually going to finish using the rest of this and see now what's going to happen is <clears throat> this ham has let off a lot of juices and I'll zoom in on the bottom to show you how much juice this ham has let off. This ham has let off a lot of juice and in that juice you know how ham is salty? So you get that salty juice from the ham and then you get the brown sugar glaze in the bottom of here. Let me show you how much we have down in here. See that? See all that? That's a nice amount. And then mix with the pineapple juice that we put in there. What you're going to do when you take this ham out, you pour this juice into a gravy dish. And then after you slice this, uh, after you slice this, you can pour this juice right on top of your sliced ham. Let's get this in the oven for 10 minutes on 425 and I'll be back. Check this out. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I cannot wait to sink my teeth down into this to feed this to my family. Now what you want to do, you want to make sure you let this sit. Let this sit for a good 40 minutes before you slice it. With every meat that you make, you always want to let it sit before you slice it. Don't just slice right into it because what will happen is um, all of your juice will come out if you slice it right away. So let it cool down. You can uh, put a little bit of aluminum foil over it very loosely let it sit for 40 minutes, then you come back, take it out of this pan, slice it up on a cutting board, and then take your juice, pour your juice into a gravy bowl, and you're set for Easter. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a, thumb, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video. And as always, God bless. Have a beautiful Easter. Thank you for watching and have a great night.